Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you the new CND Art Vandal collection. So this is due to be launched in January 2016. The collection consists of six new shellac shades, as well as seven new vinyl look shades, and one re-release of a classic shade that will go perfectly with the rest of the collection. There are also five limited edition additives, which I'll be showing you as well. So I'm going to compare all of the colours, the existing shades, and I hope you enjoy watching. First up is Magenta Mischief, so this is an amazing medium toned purple pink shade. It has got shimmer and it's kind of got an undertone of a blue in it. Comparing it to the existing shades, we've got Grape Gum, Purple Purple, Rock Royalty, Tango Passion, Tinted Love, Masquerade and Plum Paisley and you can see it's not like any other. Next up is Mauve Maverick, so this is a blue toned pink cream shade. I'm not sure quite how much of a mauve it actually is, but it is still a beautiful one. So comparing it to pinks, we've got Hot Pot Pink, Gotcha, Cake Pop, Beckoning Begonia and Rosebud. I'm also going to show you it against Winter Glow and you can see it's not like any of those. Next up is Untitled Bronze, so I'd say that this is a bronze with a pink blush tone to it. Of course, it's a metallic, so it's got some shimmer to it. There's not really any colours similar, so I just thought I'd show you other metallics from the shellac range. I also wanted to show you it against Masquerade, just so you can get an idea of the colour itself. Then we've got Art Basil, which is an absolutely stunning jade mid-toned green. It has got some beautiful shimmer that runs through it, which I absolutely adore. Comparing it to the existing greens, we've got Lush Tropics, Mint Convertible and Limeade. And now I'll show you probably my favourite from the collection. So this is Future Fuchsia and this is exclusive to Shellac. It's an extremely bright pink. It's got a blue tone to it and it's just absolutely beautiful. Comparing it to the existing pinks, we've got Pink Bikini, Tutti Frutti and Hot Pot Pink. Then I've got another stunning shade, which I know will be popular. It's called Digiteal. So this is a bright sky blue. It has got a tiny bit of shimmer in it. Comparing it to other colours, we've got Blue Rapture, Lost Labyrinth, Hot Ski, Water Park and Cerulean Sea. I know many people will think it might be like Cerulean Sea, but as you can see, it really isn't. Now we've got the two colours exclusive to Vinylux. This first one is called Sienna Scribble and I'd probably say that this is somewhere between maybe a brown, a metallic or a peach. The nearest thing I could even think of to compare to was the discontinued shade Iced Coral but it's without the green tone to it. The other exclusive shade is called Irreverent Rose and this is a beautiful dusty pink shade. It's not quite how as you see on camera, it's definitely more of a dusty rose. It is a cream shade but I just wanted to show you it against the other colours just so you can get an idea of what sort of tone it is. The re-release shade for Vinylux is Tutti Frutti so that is a bright pink it has got a blue tone to it it's really stunning and to be honest it should be in everyone's collection anyway so it's good to layer with other shades moving on to additives so at the time of me filming this video the additives hadn't arrived however i do have color pops of them to show you so i'll get straight into it now all of these additives are shown over clearly pink so we've got exhibition it's a glitter it's white with a bit of silver then we've got a pigment effect called Cobalt Clash. So this is a blue with a little bit of purple. Then we've got a really fun one. This is Confetti Kiss. Be good for nail art. Then we've got my favourite, which is Lavender Whispers. That's a pigment effect. And then finally, another glitter, which is called Twinkle Pink. So that's a pink with a bit of shimmer to it. So that is all of the collection. I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My links to Twitter, Instagram, my blog and Facebook, they're all in the description bar. Please do come follow me on those and thank you so much for watching.